All right, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and dive in because I'm really excited about this update that just came out from Vidu, which is an AI video generator. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how Vidu works and why I'm so excited about its start frame and frame feature. All right, if you take a look at my screen, um, uh, everything starts out in mid-journey, right? For the moment, mid-journey is the dominant image ed editor. And so what you'll see here is I've generated a number of shots. And it's really important uh, when talking about making shot the using Vidu, the exciting part of it is it has a start frame feature and an end frame feature. And for that, I wanted to generate some shots in mid-journey. That would be my start frame and that would be my end frame. In this case, I generated a number of shots here, as you can see, to give me some options to choose from. I decided that this shot here would be an end frame, and I ended up using this shot as a start frame. And so after we leave uh, mid-journey and we've got these two shots, the next thing we need to think about is Photoshop. Photoshop is turning out to be a very dominant tool for AI work uh, because the ability to manipulate your frames and get exactly what you want uh, becomes very crucial. So what you've seen here is that in Photoshop, I brought in my images and I've separated out the background so I can turn off the person or the subject and I can turn them on. So there's our, there's our final frame, turn him off just the background is standing, turn them on, that's my first frame, right? Um, this is a crucial step because keeping the background the same allows the animation in Vidu to be more effective because it, it, it has only one thing to deal with moving, which is the subject, and it doesn't have to deal with the fact that the background is moving around. Um, additionally, what I did was I added elements like this explosion here, and I added a missile for the first frame. So the missile first frame is there with the guy, then we put the explosion in, and then we've got our final frame. So our final frame is like that. So once we do that, we export that as PNG, and let's move on over to Vidu, which is what we are excited about today. All right, this is what Vidu looks like. Um, so in Vidu, what I can do is it gives me the ability to upload an image to this first frame uh, using image to video and then it says here upload the last frame of the image which is the big deal um, that makes Vidu so special so let's go ahead and do that so, so I've got my images here and I happen to have them labeled, so that helps a little bit to do some good naming, so you can remember what, what things are. So let's go ahead and drag in guy frame one with the missile. And then while that's uploading, let's go ahead and go for guy frame two with the explosion, right? And now we've got those in, uh, we use the text missile hits then explosion man points gun and let's choose we've got settings here uh four seconds eight seconds not available at 1080 so i'd like to have it in 1080 so i'm going to go with four seconds 1080p uh movement amplitude i decided to go for medium i think it's just a great starting point to just start with the medium setting and then if you want it to be more creative about the movement or less then go from there either towards large where it's going to do more movement or go small and it'll do less there's also the option to do auto and then you can just see what it comes out and see if you like it um then the then you've got the choice of number of generations in this case i did two because i figured you know give me two shots of it and then just go ahead and hit create and what you'll see it'll tell you that it's in queue and then you're going to wait a few seconds which i'm going to cut out of the video and um in a couple of minutes, we'll have a result. All right, and our videos are here. So let's see what Vidu created for us. All right, here's the first one.
<laughs> he had a really big shoulder. There, let's play that one again. Look at that. He reacts to it, kind of gets surprised and does a really big shoulder hunch and then points the gun. Let's see what this one does. Explosion. Moves, points the gun. So as you can see, the motion is actually different between each one. And um, even, even the nature of the explosion. So you're gonna wanna run a few of these to figure out the flavor of exactly what you like uh, from what it gives you. See there, there's the whole aftershock, um, which I thought was, that's kind of one of my favorites of the action aftershock, play that again. Play that. Boom, All right. So that's it, Vid Vidu is very, very exciting. I'm actually gonna show you um, how I used it to uh, use the first frame, then the last frame. And then I did another clip which used the last frame um, and then that starts uh, the, as the start frame of the second clip. And in that way, you can string together a series of actions and check out the result. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you want to find out more about video of Vidu or you have more questions, leave a comment and um, I'll be willing to dive into it even more. Um, but this, this update just came out uh, yesterday and so I'm really excited to be able to share this with you today as I do think this is a huge game changer for those of us who want uh, a bit more control on our shots. So thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a comment and smash the subscribe button.